Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It was Rockman's day 12. Oh, yeah. We on day 12, y'all. Moving right along. We got 12 more days, 13 more days of this. We halfway home, y'all. So today I'm doing the easiest fudge you ever had in your life. It's two ingredients, y'all. It's chocolate and sweetened condensed milk. That is it. How easy is that? Uh, y'all know I don't like chocolate, but I love fudge. I like peanut butter fudge. I don't like peanut butter, but I like peanut butter fudge. I don't like chocolate, but I like chocolate fudge. Hey, it's crazy, ain't it? When you put something else in it, like sweetened condensed milk, hey, I can go for it, y'all. That's all in this recipe. Sweetened condensed milk and chocolate chip. Now, I'm doing two kinds of chocolate chip. You can put butterscotch chips in there, y'all. You can put caramel chip, whatever you want. I got regular white chocolate chip, and I got some semi-sweet chocolate chip. Uh, half and half. Of course, it's, it's two. It's four cups each. So I got two cups of uh, white chocolate chip and two cups of semi-sweet and then two cans of sweet and condensed milk. That's it, y'all. That is it for Vlogmas Day 12. So anyway, we're going to move over here to the pot. Very simple what I'm going to do. All we're going to do, y'all, turn this on here. We're just going to dump it, all this in the pot. Let it melt together. We're going to put it in my casserole uh, uh, pan here. And uh, that's it. And let it cool a couple hours. Get my spatula here. Make sure we get all that goodness out of here. And get all that goodness out of there, y'all. The other one here. And you want to bring this to a slow... Uh, on the cook this on a a slow uh fire, y'all. You do not want to burn this. Here yeah, you're gonna ruin it, y'all. Very, very important. All right, let me get my wooden spoon here. We'll set this side later. We'll need this rubber spatula later. And like I say, all we gonna do. Gotta watch this, it don't take long. You wanna bring this together and let this melt together. See how it's already melting together? We turn it down just a little. See that? This ain't gonna take long at all, so maybe five, six minutes. So I'll be back. Once this is melted, we're gonna pour it into our, you see I got a, you can use any kind of pan. I just happen to use a casserole dish. Make sure you put some parchment paper under the, under the dish be, and spray the parchment paper because you don't want to make this fudge and it won't come out of the pan after you let it chill. That would really, really, really be frustrating. So I spray the pan and the and the paper. So anyway, we'll be back once this and sponge is uh, melted and pour it in there. And that's it, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, this is pretty much melted. And you'll know when it's already melted because this stuff is get hard to mix. So this one, you got to move pretty fast, y'all. When you pour that in the dish over here, you got to start spreading immediately. Immediately, y'all, because it will set up on you quickly. So let me move you over here to the pan, to my dish here. Turn this off. We're going to put this, pour this right into the, let me get my spatula here, y'all, and get all this chocolate off the wooden spoon. But we're going rubber spatula now. Give me one second here, y'all. Okay. Let me get my towel. We need to pour this right in here. Just like this, y'all. I'll be out y'all way in just a second. Okay. All you're going to do is spread it out just like that. See how easy that is? How easy that was? Get this off of here. Get my little cake smoother down. And that's it. Just smooth it down just like that. That's it, y'all. How easy is that, huh? How easy is that? Now you can put nuts in here, y'all. You can do whatever you want to do with it. I'm just making it plain and simple. You know me. 
It's all about plain and simple. Now, you can let this set up like I'm about to do outside. Or you can put it in the fridge as well. But I'm going to just let it set outside here two or three hours. Because I got time to do it. And uh, we're going to come back. And I'm going to show you when I flip it out. You know, I'm going to cut it in little bars. And, uh, and that's all she wrote. Old school fudge. Chocolate fudge, y'all. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. The fudge is cooled down where we can cut it. And let me show y'all what I'll do here. I'm going to cut it, show a few pieces, and I'm going to come back and cut it all up and show you the final product. What I do, I just take it like that. That's the key of putting it in a nice container. Just pull that down just like this. See that there, y'all? And, and, and like I say, the, the, the smaller container, the bigger your fudge will be. You just go down just like this with it, y'all. Like regular fudge. I like to get a knife here in hot water. Show y'all here. Get a warm knife in hot water and cut it down just like that. Another one here. Warm knife. One second here, y'all. Just got, got all that water running, can't hear nothing. Let me cut a little piece off the side, just kind of show y'all. See that? See that fudge? And what I'm gonna do, y'all? I'm gonna go on and cut it all up, plate it up. Then I'll come back and show y'all the final product. I'm going to get all this thing cut up first. Then I'll show y'all how good it is. Old school chocolate fudge, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. I just put the fudge on a little plate here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that chocolate fudge, y'all. And y'all, when I use a warm knife, the only thing when you cut in a chocolate with a warm knife, it's going to kind of warm it back up. But, hey. It is what it is, y'all. Look at this fudge here. Look at that fudge right there, y'all. Going in. Mmm. It's the... I'm, like I said, I'm not a chocolate fan. Look at that. But... If you give me some fudge, I will eat it. I'm not crazy about it. Look at that, y'all. Look at that fudge. And this literally melts in your mouth. It really does. It literally melts in your mouth. And there's two ingredients. Condensed sweet condensed milk and chocolate. Like I said, you can use butterscotch chips, white chocolate chip, like I use white chocolate and, and come out sweet chocolate. Whatever you want to use. The uh it's endless what you on whatever you want to use. So anyway, just want to show you a quick Christmas little dessert here for your family, friends, and neighbors. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old school soul food. Till next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Vlogmas day 12. Done.